Hello again, this is Nita Newman and this is the Art Appreciation Channel which I've just started up and it's going to be a little bit random, there's a little bit about art, a little bit about painting, a little bit about uh, literature and I have had a special request by uh, a lovely lady from uh, one of my students from the St Francis Centre in Bourneville in the real world where I normally teach and I've had a request to, for a reading for some poetry from Danielle and it's from a, a really special book that I bought uh, from the Cotswolds from a musty old bookstore um, and this is published in from 1960 and it's by a gentleman called Wilfred Pickles and it's called For Your Delight and it's full of poetry, different kinds of genres and party pieces, very old school but I think you'll like it and I have a little penchant for the macabre so I'm going to re take, do a reading for you um, which is called Matilda and Matilda who told lies and burned to death Matilda told such dreadful lies it made one gasp and stretch one's eyes her aunt who from her earliest youth had kept a strict regard for truth attempted to believe Matilda the effort very nearly killed her and one would have done so had not she discovered this infirmity for once towards the close of day Matilda growing tired of play and finding she was left alone went tippy-toe to the telephone and summoned the immediate aid of London's noble fire brigade within an hour the gallant band were pouring in on every hand from Putney, Hackney, Downs and Bow with courage high and hearts aglow they galloped roaring through the town. Matilda's house is burning down. Inspired by British cheers and loud, proceeded from the frenzied crowd. They ran their ladders through, the, through a score of windows on the ballroom floor and took peculiar pains to souse the pictures up and down the house until Matilda's aunt succeeded in showing them they were not needed. And even then she had to pay to get the men to go away. It happened that a few weeks later, her aunt was off to the theatre to see that interest, interesting play, the second Mrs Tanqueray. She had refused to take her niece to hear this entertaining piece, a deprivation just and wise to punish her for telling lies. That night a fire did break out. You should have heard Matilda shout. You should have heard her scream and bawl and throw the window up and call to people passing on the street, the rapidly increasing heat encouraging her to obtain their confidence. But all in vain. For every time she shouted, FIRE! They only answered, Little Liar. And therefore, when her aunt returned, Matilda and the house were burned. <laughs> 